Section 9.1.35, a researcher wishes to estimate the proportion of adults who have high-speed internet access. What size sample should be obtained if she wishes the estimate to be within 0 0.06 with 99% confidence if she uses a previous estimate of 0 0.47? Now, <clears throat> if a point estimate is available, then the sample size required is the following formula. N is going to equal the point estimate times 1 minus the point estimate times the critical value divided by the margin of error squared. Now to the right here, here's a list of some of the common confidence intervals that you can use. Now I just have it listed here so you can see when we go through the process here. So first thing is, is that we need to write down the information it's given. All right, so do we know what n is? Okay, we're looking for n because we're looking for the sample size. Okay, now do we know what the point estimate is? Well, that's given in our problem, and the point estimate is point or 0 0.47. Okay, and what else do we know? We know that there's a margin of error, and that margin of error is within point 0 0.06, so that is point 0 0.06. And then the other thing that we need to figure out is Z alpha divided by two. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that and then we'll confirm it with our list here of the critical values. So when we wanna find Z alpha divided by two, we need to look at the 99% confidence. Okay, so if we take 100% and subtract the 99%, well that gives us 1% which is equal to 0 0.01. Now, if we take that 0 0.01 and divide it by two, because that represents alpha, that's gonna give us 0 0.005. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna find the area. Now, whenever we have this Z alpha, because this becomes now Z, which is the area to the right of 0 0.005. So just to give a picture as to what's going on here, this is our area. So our area to the left is 0 0.005, okay? And what we want to use is we wanna find, we can use the area to the left of our z-scores. So what we wanna do is we wanna find that area. So one minus 0 0.005 is 0.995, okay? So what we can do is we can find the z-score by either using the calculator or StatCrunch. So when you're using the calculator, we're gonna use INV norm 0.995 with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. So let's go ahead and do that real quick here. So we got second distribution. We're going to go to INV norm. We have our area of 0.995 with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. Okay, so you can see here that we end up getting the following. We get the critical value to be 2.575. So I want you to see what we get over here. So over here, if you have 0.99 or 99%, we can see that the critical value is 2.575. So we can either do that using uh, StatCrunch. Okay, so let me open up StatCrunch. I think it's already done here. We have a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one with an area of 0.995. And if we select compute, then we also get here is less than or equal to, we get 2.575. Okay, so therefore we can use that as our critical value. Okay, so now you could just use the chart, but if you're given a different level of confidence, then you're probably gonna have to use what we have to do in order to find out what that area is to the left. So if they said find out what 88% confidence is, you're not gonna have a list here, you're gonna to have to follow that same procedure. Okay, so now let's go ahead and find our sample size. 
So using our formula up here, we know n is going to equal the point estimate, which is <clears throat> 0 0.47 times 1 minus 0 0.47. And then I'm just going to use brackets here. We know that our critical value that we found is 2.575. And we're going to divide that by the margin of error, which is 0 0.06. And then we're going to square that value. Okay. So when we do that, okay, I'm going to go ahead and plug this into our calculator just so we can see what happens with that. So... Using order of operations, we're going to do the exponent first. So what's inside here is 2.5, sorry there. So we have 2.575. We're going to divide that by 0 0.06. And then we need to square that. So we're going to square the answer. And then we're going to multiply it by 1 minus 0.47. And then we're going to multiply that by 0.47. Okay, so let's take a look at this answer here. So this is the answer that we get. And so we have 458.8. So we're going to round that number to 459. Okay, so let's summarize here. Okay, so again, the actual value that we got for n is 458.80, which is rounded up to the nearest whole number to guarantee that the desired specifications are met. So she must sample 459 adults. Okay, now let's take a look at in part B where it says, she does not use any prior estimates. So if you're not given a point estimate, okay, then you're going to have to use a different formula. So if a point estimate is unavailable, the sample size required is the following formula. Okay, and again, here's our list of confidence interval critical values. Okay, so again, in our problem, what we need to know is we're looking for n, which is the sample size, we know that the margin of error is 0 0.06 and we also know that the critical value or Z alpha divided by two, which is 99%, okay, we can look over here now or we can do what we did up above. So we know that the critical value is 2.575. Okay. So now let's go ahead and find n. So we know that n is going to equal 0 0.25 times the critical value, which is 2.575, divided by the margin of error, which is 0 0.06, and then we're going to square that. So let's go ahead and put this in our calculator. So we have 2.575, divide that by 0 0.06, and then we're going to square that result, and then we're going to multiply it by 0 0.25. Okay, so let's go ahead and write down that answer. Okay, so here... Whenever we have a sample size, regardless of whether this is 0.4, we need to round up. So therefore, we're going to get 460 as our sample size if the point estimate is not given. So let's go ahead and summarize this. So the actual value for n is 460.46, which is rounded up to the nearest whole number to guarantee that the desired specifications are met. So she must sample 461 adults.